please listen to this entire message as our options have changed. You have reached the Corrections Center. If you know the extension of the party that you are trying to reach and have a touch-tone phone, please dial the four-digit extension now. If you please wait. Education to Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl, I have a couple questions about the uh, education program that's available there. Well, are you asking for yourself or someone else? Uh, you know, I actually am asking for myself, yeah. My questions are, you you work with the correspondence program, is that correct? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. What would I need to do in order to attend school through correspondence? Well, attending school is not what you do when you take correspondence, so I'm not really clear what what you're asking me. To me, correspondence would be doing school through a third party, is that correct, via mail? Oh. Well, it's through the mail, yeah. Okay. And is that something that you would help set up, or does my family need to set that up and communicate with you? Okay. Well, the only time that you would need to um, do this with my help would be is if you're currently incarcerated. Right, right. And I'm just trying to get facts before I go in, because I know usually once I'm incarcerated, information isn't going to be as privy as it is now. Like, I wouldn't be able to call you. So True. I'm just trying to gather as much as I can before I go in. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, part of it is you need to go through an approval process. Usually it takes uh, at least a couple of weeks to get through the preliminary process, mm -hmm. and then... What happens after that is you go through orientation for various things, and you know it's you're kind of jumping the gun a little bit because I don't have any information or records mm -hmm. for you that I can you know put together. So um, okay. I've got. Let's see here. Do you have? I could send you what I think would be helpful would probably uh -huh. be the. Um, the DOC policy on okay. correspondence for offenders. I'll send you that, and then I'll okay. send you the approval form. And okay. I'm trying to think what else would be helpful. Um, the main thing is on correspondence, you pretty much have to be an independent worker. You know, you pretty much have to study on your own because there are, you know, although I can help people if they need help, um, mm -hmm. normally you would just be communicating with the teacher on the okay. cover sheets of your assignment. Okay. So did you want a breakdown okay. of the cost or? Yeah, um, exactly. Okay. And, and okay. that cost would be paid to you guys, is that correct? Actually, no, it goes directly to, to the college. I actually work for Centralia College, so I know more about their stuff. Um, there's okay. a couple other places that have correspondence, and it depends on what you want to do because that there's it's kind of a process to figure out, okay, what classes do I want to take? What's going to be my end goal? So we mm -hmm. need to do a few different things to, you know, get that sorted out. Okay. So okay. Do you know what you have? In, do you have something in mind that you wanted to do? Or my interest is computers, but you know that's probably not really much of an option being in there. So I was thinking maybe English direction, English major, something like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, all I all I really know that I can go off of is I have I do have my high school diploma, oh, well, and while I'm start. while I'm incarcerated, I would like um, I know that they've got like GED fast track, of course, which doesn't right. help me out. So yeah. anything I can do to better myself, while I'm in there. That's what I'm interested in. Okay. So um, what we have here, well, we do have a couple things here that help that help people get started, and one of them is just a basic computer class, which may be you know, at a lower level than what you're, you've already done, mm -hmm. a basic in, um, introduction. Like typing thing. skills. Well, that's, yeah, that's part of it, and it's it's basically Microsoft Office. You get to learn mm -hmm. different parts of the program and stuff like that, so that may be something you've already done. Yeah, I'm pretty familiar. We just don't offer a lot here because we're mainly a reception center. Right. And right. about all I can do for people is to help get them started because for the most part they're transferred someplace. For the people here, I do have like maybe three people taking classes right now because gotcha. there's a housing unit for guys to stay here. 
I don't know for sure, but I think I'll be housed there. Because at least that's what my attorney is telling me. Oh, okay. So I don't know. Okay, well, let me send you this information, too, because once okay. you get a chance to look it over, I think you'll be more prepared and mm -hmm. have, you know, maybe different questions. Because okay. I don't know that I'm answering everything, but I thought, well, shoot, if I send you the written material, it would yeah. probably be a little bit better than you can take your time and look through it and then come up with your questions if you have some. Okay. I'll give you a, a degree plan of what okay. we have made up. It's just kind of like a generic thing. And mm -hmm. I'll just send you the materials that I would normally give somebody who is interested in this type of class. And that way okay. you'll have something to go on. It'll just be a good starting point. Okay. And I'll get it mailed out. It should go out today probably. So you'll get okay. it within just a couple of days. A lot of rigmarole. So if I okay. shoot, I'm going to send it to you now so you get started. Okay. Okay, and then you do have those approved schools, basically. That's how it works. Well, I have a list of the um, approval that – the problem is not many people, not many places have correspondence classes. Pretty much nobody has a full degree except for us. Um, mm -hmm. You can take classes at many different places, and that's fine because if you're going to an accredited college, all you need to do is pay attention to which of the classes – um, are designated as transferable, um, right? And they, they are noted, you know. So it depends on what you want to do. You know, there's a lot of stuff to think about. Um, there are people here who have gone to Ohio State, uh -huh. and what's the other one? There's a couple other ones too. I'm just off the top of my head. I can't think right now. But um, okay. there's a couple different schools that do offer programs. Um, Louisiana State, I believe it is, too. They have a program specifically for incarcerated individuals. So those mm -hmm. are two other places that are four-year colleges. Okay. Okay. So, so they'll be transferable credits if yeah, somehow if transfer, If you transfer within the state, most of the credits are accepted. You need to pay attention okay. to which are academic and which are vocational. Gotcha. Or business, yeah. you know, business type stuff, so. And it'll be noted for you, so you'll be able to okay. figure it out pretty easily. Okay. Perfect. All right, well, I look forward to getting that in the mail, Cheryl. Okay, great. I will send those on to you and give you a chance to look it over then. Okay, have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. All right, bye.